Canadian wildfire smoke. You might be thinking, well, we're all in the clear now. Yeah, but a concerned viewer reached out to us after discovering something in her house that she's never seen before. Meteorologist Allison Rogers has more on what she found and her message, Allison. Yeah, it's really alarming when you see what I'm about to show you here. So get ready to make a beeline for your basement. Last week's unhealthy levels may be out of your head now, but could still be lingering in your home. I don't think people really understood when the report said unhealthy air quality, just how unhealthy it was. If you're a visual learner, this is for you. June 1st, this is what the filter looked like. July 1st, that's what the filter looked like. Claremont County resident Charlene Graham says she changes her air filter monthly and has never seen it this bad. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> right? Like, what, what is going on? I looked very deeply at the coils and I'm like, that is smoke. Yeah. There's no explanation other than the wildfire smoke. Air quality levels last week were the worst we've seen in decades, trapping Cincinnati in a haze dropped down by Canadian wildfires. Matt Tyner with Thomas and Galbraith Heating, Cooling and Plumbing says you should be changing your air filters more often. A lot of that has to do with bringing in, bringing in the fresh air uh, through that intake or if they have a fresh air ventilator, that's purpose, sole purpose is to bring fresh air into the home. And then as well as just the, the normal opening and closing of doors. Graham says once she changed her filter, her house cooled by a degree in a matter of minutes. I didn't realize my air conditioner was working that hard. When we start seeing that more and more um, contaminants are getting on the filter, it, the filter doesn't stay as efficient as it was designed because it's capturing more and more and more. It actually becomes more efficient in filtering. However, less efficient of letting the air through so that your system can breathe. Tyner says it's good to check your air filters monthly, but in cases when the air quality is bad, weekly check-ins are a good idea. So just out of curiosity, actually, WLWT News 5 anchor Stephen Albritton decided to check his filter today when he got home, and this is what he found. So compared to a fresh one here on the left to the one that he just pulled out, which he said had been in there for a couple of months, but still, look how dirty that is. Goodness. All right, Allison Rogers, WLWT News 5. Oh, wow, thanks so much for that story.